Hey everyone, welcome to Let's Play Europa Universal is 4 Mayu in Texas. All the way over here. It's a, as it says, a Europa Universal is 4 total overhaul mode. Mod. And in fact, we are playing, we are going to be playing, um, well, on this version, with most expansions, not all. I didn't get the Russian one, in fact, because uh, I thought it was boring, but. Never mind that. Uh, we're gonna, in fact, play on Mayu and Taxes 2.01, sixth patch. And for those of you that know uh, Mayu, good, but a lot of people won't. Mayu is, well, as it says, overhaul mode. It makes everything more complicated, generally speaking. It's also very attached to making sure everything goes more or less like it did in history, more or less. Uh, sometimes the script's a little too heavily ended, I think, but generally speaking, that's that's what it does. Um, what it does though with 2, version 2, is it added populations, which is kind of interesting. So if you click France, France is a monster, 525 population. Now, uh, for those of you have, who have only seen my Let's Play of Europa Universalist 4, that dates back to when Europa Universalist 4 was just coming out. Um, the game has evolved a lot, and then the mod had ma has made it evolve even more. So there's a lot to cover, but basically, uh, in the base uh, game, you have like base taxes, base production, and base manpower for every province, and its output in terms of money and in terms of uh, manpower. Uh, is dependent on that largely and then also dependent on buildings and on other national modifiers and whatnot. Uh, Mayu took these three things, base tax, base production and uh, base manpower and made them into rural population, urban population and then aristocracy. Aristocracy um, Okay, I'm gonna start from the beginning. Rural population grows organically. Uh, it just does. There's a lot of population around here. Um, I mean, if you look at like Ming, Ming is tiny, but it has way more population than even France. So I was saying, oh, every point of population represents like 10,000 people. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, rural grows organically. Urban attracts people from the rural areas, uh, and then aristocracy is always a percentage of your population. Just becomes, or not becomes, but it's it's based on the percentage of, yeah, of the other two types of population. And then you can improve places, like a province is gonna have, um, they'll have calculated so to speak, a, uh, a capacity for this province to accommodate the population and it's gonna, gonna grow faster or slower depending on how overpopulated it is it's also going to depend on other things you know just like uh, how much has it been at war and whatnot lots of like factors to factor in and it's slightly complicated and i maybe shouldn't be explaining that now and maybe should be explaining that once we start the game so what game am i going to be starting there's a whole world i'm not gonna um, I'm not gonna random no. Uh, I'm not gonna randomize this uh, because I don't care. Because what I'm planning on doing does not involve America. What I'm planning on doing, on trying to do, is taking a country that exists today, Oman. Why Oman? For a variety of reasons. Uh, mostly because I feel like trying to make a um, a naval power in the Indian Ocean. And I'm looking at all this and I'm like, well, India is not that fun. Also, it's very centered on land, even though, you know, it's in the middle of the ocean like this. You're not very centered on the ocean itself. You're going to be playing around with the Indians and pretty much nothing else. Uh, so that's out. These can be interesting. These especially can be interesting, but that was an option, I guess. But it's also very close to this and I, I just kind of really want to be focused on this. And then these are a bit too backwards. <laughs> Sorry, Africans, you're a little at this stage in the game, 13, 56, 80, you're a little too backwater. Uh, and you're going to be a little too backwater to, to be a, an effective force. So I'm gonna go with Omen. It's it's like it's in the ocean, like here. 
It's also got this tiny little C that it could, you know, try to dominate as well. We're gonna see what we do spe uh, specifically. Another interesting thing with this is, I believe, yeah, it's unique in terms of religion as well. So that's, you know, a fun thing as well. If we can make uh, more people a body, or we could like make it tolerant. I don't know. I like playing a tolerant Muslim uh, state because they get taxes. <coughs> Additional taxes, uh, generally speaking. I will just have to. Oh, hey, they took out Baluchistan. That's good. There, there used to be a country here that was called Baluchistan. Um, and uh, the mod decided to refuse to allow you to declare war or refuse it to declare war or anything because, the, uh, as they said, they can't accurately represent the government and whatnot of this area, so they're not gonna try, and they're, the country's just there to, to, like, move trade along, which is, I don't know, it was silly. Anyway, I'm glad it's gone. I thought it was kind of silly. Muscat is probably, you know, we have 12 population, they all live in Muscat. <clears throat> probably. And then you have these guys right next uh, to us, with, uh, right here, you have Abu Dhabi. I think it's Abu Dhabi, isn't it? Hold on. Let's just get inside the game. I'm not gonna play Iron Man because I'm not crazy. I'm recording things, and when a recording fail, you have to replay a thing. Um, replaying would be very annoying if I couldn't go back. In fact, it would be just outright impossible. You could be missing out on content. Oh no! Don't want that. So yeah, it's not. It's not gonna be Iron Man. It's okay though. I don't generally abuse uh, saves. In fact, uh, I remember there was a guy that was in Heroes, I think. He was looking at my Heroes something, I don't know which one, four or six. And he was like, you're not reloading enough. I'm like, I, I'm, I'm not trying to abuse the, the reloading, you know? Oh yeah, estates are a thing. How many estates do you need? Jesus. Usually you only have like two or three. Like a couple nobles, burgers, if you have a city. I guess I do have a city, I have Muscat. It's not much of a city, I'll, I'll say, but it's there. You know, and here you have another tiny city. It's, uh, do you not see the, the, the city? I think it's Abu Dhabi. Or I'm confusing it with something, no, I'm confusing it with something else. What was the name of that city? God damn it. Why am I blanking on it? Maybe it's Abu Dhabi, but I don't think it is anymore. Oh goodness. Whatever. Another time. We're gonna conquer it eventually. Then I'm gonna look at Google tonight and I'm gonna be like, I'm stupid. It was that city and I'm stupid. Um... God damn it, I'm blanking on it. Well, whatever. Good thing I did not study geography, it would look stupid right now. Okay. Oh man! I'm just looking at my population right real quick. There isn't much population around here. Unsurprisingly, it's kind of deserted. Just, just, you know, kind of. Kathiri is just very... Very not populous either. I mean, there isn't very much to conquer. We're actually the dominant country around here. Uh, because everybody else has like two... Two population. This thing has one? No, oh, that's our most gun. It's it's coupled with this. This guy is actually even more dominant than us. It's a dominant city, city even. Urban population of 40,000. Damn. I mean, damn. And then you can go into the province details. Like, population and nothing is happening because we just started the game. Uh, I've clicked once on can I have more information and the game gave me none. He can't, apparently. I don't know. Whatever. Um, oh, I have not set this up because I just installed the game, I guess. What do I want? Man, I should have prepared things, I guess. Whoops. Great powers is the thing that was added. Population is important. There's no population around here. The population is actually way far in the east. Oh, there's other cool stuff the game did. I just, I just remembered another cool thing the game does. Um, buildings can be interesting, but no. Local autonomy, very interesting. Oman is just mm, rebellious. 
the Oman province of Oman is rebellious in Oman. Everything else is fine. <laughs> We're named after this place, for Pete's sake. Can we not keep a hold of it? Technology is important. I think I'm gonna make it share uh, a thing with um, institutions. Institutions is something that's really interesting. Um, my god, our flag is boring as heck. Sorry. Sorry if this is still the Omanese like flag. I, I'm not trying to insult anybody, but it's. It, isn't it boring? I'm sorry. Feels boring. Anyway, institutions. That's a thing that's new, uh, obviously, from the. Uh, from the start of the game, but uh, it's a new way to do the penalties uh, for not being Western. You know, uh, it used to be like, I'm in the Muslim tech group, so I have this penalty to teching until I Westernize or something, you know. Silly stuff like that. Um, and now they invented the tech uh, institutions. And you have an institution, it starts, uh, it starts in non-tribal areas. This one started in somewhere. Somewhere in the Western world, in theory, and then it spread to all these places. It isn't an omen yet, apparently, or it is. No, it is, never mind. It's a different green because it's us. I don't know why that would make it different, but whatever. So this is spread just about everywhere. That's interesting. And then you have um, meritocracy starts in China regions. So China is going to tech faster. It's actually going to impose a... Uh, a penalty on the Western world for the very long time because the people that are going to be here, then it's going to spread slowly this way, and then these are going to be taking faster than the Western world, etc. But then other institutions are going to start happening, and they're probably going to start around here. So Western eventually just outtakes everybody because of that. But uh, at the start of the game, that's not going to be the case. I think that's really exciting. Maybe that's just me though. I'm gushing over simple things. What else do I want? Uh, you got trade, this, 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 geographical isn't that important, uh, areas are very important, or regions? Hold on, is it regions or, well I'm gonna put region and we're gonna see, is it region or area? Wait, no, this is tinier than this, I want a tiny one. There we go, that's what I wanted. This is always important because of state, states, these are states. And so this is a core state, this is not colonized, but it's a core state, it's the state of, uh, okay, there's no tan here. I have two states, Oman and Hadramut. Yeah, because I have this, which is part of Hadramut. Um, and when you own territory there, you only get a fraction of it until you make it a core state of yours, but other than the... Um, why would Hadramut cost zero and Oman four? Hold on. Capital. It used to be that the capital, the state with the capital in it, would cost no income, no, um, no. Um. What am I? It's not inflation. I'm blanking on words today. Maybe I shouldn't be recording. I can't talk apparently. Um. God damn it, screw that word. It's not attrition either, it's, oh my god, whatever. Anyway, uh, you pay a little bit uh, of upkeep. There you go, upkeep. You pay a little bit of upkeep, but then you get a lot more out of them, so, you know, usually it balances out. Uh, the only times you wouldn't want to do that is if it's completely worthless of an area, like, actually, Hadramut. Um, not to insult anybody there, but there's nobody living here. Wait, there's like 13 peoples leaving, living there, but that's that's Hadramut itself. Everything else is like nobody, 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 nobody. We're gonna have to take over Yemen at some point, I think. That's gonna be like... Like all these population here, all this population is very important to us. Oh my goodness. Yeah, eventually we want to take over this entire place because that's gonna be important gonna be a good seat of power around here. We're probably gonna want the entire like Arabian Peninsula at some point. In fact, I imagine the 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 plan, at least at the start, is to establish ourselves on the 
Arabian Peninsula, maybe a little bit around the um, Persian Gulf, but if you get involved in here, you get involved with all the Persians and nomads and Ottomans or whatever that are gonna be wanting this area. I'm not sure I want to deal with those. I want to be focused here, not here, you know? We'll see about that. If there's an opportunity, sure, but I'm not going to insist too harshly on it. And then, of course, Africa, uh, like mid-game Africa is going to be wide open, I assume. If we can't expand enough, I think we're going to have an easier time like expanding in Africa. Maybe get Ethiopia, maybe not all of it, I don't really care. We could like get the coast and then make this a vassal state of some sort. Um, but yeah, get getting Africa should give us a lot of coast and should be easy enough at the mid game when I assume we're going to be taking faster than them and or have better units than them, I don't know. You know, things, whatever. Words. I think that's going to happen. And then late game, well, later than that, I think, or earlier, I'm not sure, but at some point we're going to want to start colonizing a little bit. If we can colonize some islands over here, we get a foot down over there, then we can start taking over islands over here, and then that's, you know, we're going to have Africa and then islands over here. If we can take a hold of, you know, Madagascar and the islands around here, Maldives, maybe Sri Lanka, that depends, because it usually goes to Vijay, because uh, Ceylon is a vassal. Ceylon? Ceylon or Jaffna? Jaffna, actually. Yeah, Jaffna. Jaffna is a vassal to Vijay. So that never really works out. Hey, there's a land connection now. There used to not be one. Well, then, whatever. If we can get it, if we can... Honestly, the hardest part, I think, is gonna be expanding in India, because India is inevitably going to become larger territories, larger enemies, uh, by the time we're ready to even look at them. And then the same thing here. Usually there's a big Burmese uh, country here that forms that I'm probably gonna have trouble with, and then uh, usually it's Ayutthaya, not necessarily Ayutthaya though. It's gonna be another one around here which is also very hard to get through. Those are the two like final bosses, I assume, to get a hold of the, the Indian Sea. I don't know if we're gonna make it there though. I'm not that great at the game, so <laughs> we'll see. Who Banu Kab and Kathiri already hate me, so we're gonna pick you. We're also gonna pick you. Can we be friends with like Yemen or something? Do you like me? You don't like me. Negative, neutral, distance. I'm not strong, not the same religion, and they hate us. All right. Got it. Or Mosgen, can we be friends? Of course not. Not as harsh of a no, though. It's in fact not even out of question completely. So I think what I'm gonna do is first make friends with him and then try to invade these. Or maybe invade these first because um, Yemen's gonna want a piece of those as well. There's more of a race here. Or Mosgen's gonna want this though. I don't know. We're gonna make friends with our Mosgen, I think. For starters, we're gonna have to fight our Mosgun at some point, but right now it's not an. It is not a. Uh, some, th there was some noise behind, but it's not a priority. Hey, I'm missing a thing. Fort level is always important. Oh, yeah. But that's uh, more of a strategic importance. You want to know where the forts are when you're invading. Uh, forts have changed from the original version of this game. There isn't a fort everywhere now. There's. A fort in some places and they restrict movement. That's uh, well for your enemies. It's uh, very useful. Although these forts that I have right now are just level one, I think they need to be level two to restrict movement. Whatever. I think they're just garrisons uh, that have been built there. So uh, if we want to be friends with Ormosgan, that's our only candidate, we're not gonna make him a rival. That's just not gonna happen. Uh, we are going to improve relations with you instead. Oh yeah, and also need a uh, decisions and whatnot. Uh, show special map modes. Right, the mod adds a lot of different concepts, and you can actually create a um, create a map for it. It adds it into the trade map, and then you can just use the trade map to see it. I'm, I'm, you might 
need that or explore that at some point, but not right now. High utility decisions, you don't have to. CE, that's uh, communication efficiency, that's a thing that the mod adds. Uh, which is slightly redundant now that there's autonomy, but then again, not so much. I mean, it kind of adds to autonomy. I don't know, or they, they just feed each other relatively well, I think. Religious tolerance, I was thinking about doing that. How's the religion like looking like? Uh, we're only gonna know that <laughs> in the future, not right now. Oh, we're probably a tribe, aren't we? Despotic monarchy. Are we not a tribe? We're probably a tribe, we just don't know about it right now. This centralization and all that. Can we change governments? Medieval kingdom. We can't. We need to use um, We need to use events if we want to do anything. Royal crown, maybe. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and say yes to that. No, I can appoint a favorite, aka get a hair. That's probably a good idea. 